yeah, yeah. If you fuck with winning, put your lighters to the sky. How could I make sense when I got millions on my mind? Coming with that bullshit. What is up, guys? We are finally back. It has been a long, long time since I've recorded anything. Uh, partial reasons for that because of college. Outside of that, I mean, I've just been enjoying spending time with the family and stuff. No big deal. Um, but anyway, this is something different. I stumbled, I was on Steam the other day, and I stumbled across this game, Fishing Planet, and it's free to play. And for a free to play game, I think it's very, very polished. Um, this is probably, without a doubt, one of the best fishing simulator games I've ever played. And that I think really is out there available to play. So, this isn't really a game to let's play or anything. I might pop a video up whenever I get to a new uh, lake available for fishing. In a sense, it's kind of like an MMO. You play with other people, you can play in a private lobby or whatever. Um, you do level up, you get cash, you earn experience every time you catch a fish. Um, and as you gain levels, you unlock better gear, like uh, new fishing reels and rods and stuff like that. But without further ado, we're going to jump in here. And I don't know, I'll probably keep this video around 15 to 20 minutes or so. I'm in the middle of trying to make a little bit of extra cash and I found out a good way to do that but anyway let's see here let's leave and see this is the XP I earned for that trip and $83 in cash now if you have a premium account you do get more XP and a little bit more cash every time that you catch something but like I said, that's optional, and also with a lot of free-to-play games, a lot of times they are limited on what you can do unless you pay for the account, and so far there's not been any limitations to playing for free that I've noticed. But anyway, this is the map. Um, all of the ones that have the weather icons here, I have already unlocked because I am level 10. Like I said, I've been playing a little bit. But Lone Star Lake is completely free to fish, and I've purchased the advanced license for it. We'll get into that here in a minute. Um, but other places, it actually costs money to travel to it and to fish there, which I thought is pretty neat and realistic, you know, just the same. But, you know, it gives you the weather forecast. If you click on, let's say, you know, Mudwater River, you can see the fish species that you can catch there. Pretty cool. But uh, then you have your inventory over here and this is what you have in your backpack. This is what you have at home. Your backpack, you have limited storage so uh, whatever you can't fit in your backpack automatically gets sent to home. You have to leave your traveling area and come back to this main page here to access the stuff in your home and it shows you the licenses and stuff that you carry. You start off with only one fishing pole. I've got two because I have this carrier bag here. Um, not exactly sure what it's called, but I've got it. It allows me to carry two uh, fishing rods. The shop, like I said, you got rods, reels, requires level one, and you have to be careful because um, you either it's either suitable for an open-faced spinning reel and the bobber here is for live bait or it can be equipped with a spin uh i'm sorry a bait caster and this is the artificial and it kind of gives the little diagram right here in the center but the stars indicate what level you need to be in order to purchase an item it starts getting grayed out uh, those are items you can't purchase until you reach the required level so um but yeah all kinds of stuff here pretty cool and the other thing that I thought was really, really neat, I haven't done this yet, by the way. Um, these are scheduled events for competitions, and like the Battle of Canic here. Uh, Canic Creek, Alaska, the registration time, right? September 15th, which is today. And the registration between 1 o'clock a.m. or it looks, 
to 1 o'clock p.m. So a 12 hour registration, which it's coming close, if not already. Yeah, 10 minutes away from closing. And the times are, it's all real life time. And I thought that was just awesome. And then you have your leaderboards and stuff that you can buy with premium. Also, if you want to, which is, you know, uh, your premium account here, bait coins and fishing licenses, I suppose. But the shop here is where you will find your licenses to buy this. Uh, you cannot fish a new place without buying at least the basic license for it. So you can buy one day, three day, one week, one month, or unlimited, and unlimited cost coins, which you can buy with cash, or you get some whenever you level up and complete achievements. But we're uh, five minutes in. Not too bad for a you know basic understanding of how the game works. So we're going to jump in. We're going to travel. Like I said, I'm in the middle of gathering up some cash and the way that I found out to do that I got on YouTube and found out that the best way to do it since this place is free go to Texas and uh, you always start at five o'clock and this is indicates you know with the weather when the fish are going to be biting so you can definitely see definitely see between 11 o'clock a.m. and probably about three o'clock p.m. it's the lowest time but um, let's go fishing in a random room. All my inventory and tackle is all set up and good to go. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, in order, the cash thing that I was talking about that I looked up on YouTube was catching uh, spotted bass. And that's what we're going to go do. And see, like most fishing simulators, they put you in one spot. I mean, you can actually walk around the lake. You can only fish in certain areas, but it's still really good. And the graphics are pretty stunning, actually. But anyway, let's do it. Right now, I'm fishing. If you look in the top right-hand corner there, I'm fishing with a golden... Uh, third ounce spoon and the low the lure uh, right beside that in the right hand corner as you can see in the water it shows you kind of what the lure looks like as you're reeling it and you can see I'm using the stop and go method right now oh got a bite there on the mouse uh, the right oh, the right mouse button sets the hook whenever you get a bite and the left mouse button reels in and cast out as well. See, there we go. Got a spotted bass. It's pretty nice. 1.6 pounds, but it's $125. So keep it. And before you can keep anything, you have to purchase a stringer or something to keep your fish with. And that is located under tools and equipment. You can either get a keep net or a stringer. Um, I'd have to go back to the to home to actually see the full inventory, but um, if you just click on one, it'll tell you the total fish weight, eight pounds, max single fish weight, three pounds, and before you can actually keep fish from a lake, you have to have the advanced license, which for Texas costs seven of those coins. So by the time you hit like level seven or eight, You'll already have those seven coins from achievements and leveling up and things like that. So, uh, very easy to get. And the first thing that I would recommend doing is getting that advanced fishing license for Texas so you can keep these uh, spotted bass without getting fined. Because if you try to keep a fish without, if you try to keep a fish illegally, uh, you can, but you run a risk of getting fined. So, that kind of sucks. But yeah, it's 5.06 in the morning. Let's see what we can do here. Like right, I so said, this isn't really a game to let's play. I don't really know how I would even go about doing that. It just doesn't seem like one of those types of games. It's not let's play friendly. 
and excuse all the shit in the background on the camera. My uh, my den's a bit of a mess right now. Now this does mean though that, and I guess while we're fishing here, kind of catch up to speed on the uh, Zelda and Hearthstone stuff. I do actually plan on recording an episode of Zelda after this. I definitely want to get that finished up. Um, sorry, I got sidetracked there. I do still play Hearthstone. I'm not as active because of college, but whenever I do get a chance, I try to get on there and at least get the quest complete and do the tavern brawl and stuff. Well, nothing's biting. We might have to change up here. And I'll also show how to change your equipment and your lures. This game is also, I've got it on the PlayStation 4 too. You can also download it on the uh, PlayStation Network for free. That's actually where I first found it at. And then uh, I was like, mm, I think it's uh, for PC too. So checked it out and sure enough, it was on Steam. Okay, so let's change up lures here. Um, one and two will alternate between your live fishing rod or any of the uh, fishing rods that you have in your inventory. It'll rotate through that. This is the live setup. We're not going to use that right now, so I want to go back to my other pole, but what I do want to do is switch my bait around, and all we have to do is go into the inventory, and I think there's actually a shortcut on the keyboard for it, but I always just go to the inventory, and I'm going to fish with the bass jig. We're going to use a different method for retrieving too and see if it works a little bit better. Oh. Yep, lift and drop. There we go. And you can also adjust the speed at which you retrieve down in the bottom right hand corner there. You see the four arrows going up. Um, that's the fastest mode that it'll retrieve. A little bit smaller, 84 bucks. And you see over here in the top uh, left hand corner, 2.7 out of 33 pounds. So my stringer can hold 33 pounds. Uh, highly doubt we'll fill that up by the time this video is done. And the uh, little bars that you see around the retrieval speed is the drag, and you can adjust that too. Come on. Nothing's biting. A lot of times they'll bite up really, really close to almost, you know, 15, 20 feet away from the bank. Strike in. Someone caught something there beside me. It's 
See if I've got a silver spoon. I like the silver spoon over the gold spoon. It seems to work better for me. Let's see. I need the silver uh, third ounce. Nope, six. All right, so we gotta go back. Actually, I don't really wanna do that right now. I'll just go back to the uh, gold spoon. And yeah, you actually get snacks in this game too, as you can see there. Forgot to mention that. Which just adds another aspect of realism to the game, really. But I think this game is great. You don't catch something on every single cast, so that's nice. And a lot of, I'm not going to say like fishing simulators, but a lot of the fishing games that came out for the play, oh. This one might be a little bit bigger. But um, a lot of the fishing games that came out for the consoles, they always, like after you cast it, they'd have that underwater view whenever you retrieved and you could see the fish and you kind of like had to dangle the bait in front of them or all that bullshit. And hey, that's a really nice one. And it just wasn't realistic at all. Not to mention you could really... For most of them, you could, they only allowed you to catch that one species of fish, and that was a bass. For most of them. So, in this one, you can catch, I mean, you saw nine, ten different species of fish you could catch there at Mud River, or Mudwater River, in Missouri, at the beginning of the video. And that's just a handful of fish that you can catch in this game. They have catfish tournaments, crappie tournaments, bass tournaments. I think it's pretty amazing. We'll only spend... That's a terrible sound coming from my speakers. Um, we'll spend a couple of minutes more fishing here, and then I'm probably going to wrap up the video. There's not much more to the game. Other, I mean, there is more to the game. I shouldn't really say that. But... For the stage of the game that I'm at right now, only being level 10, there's really not much more to the game right now. I will upload a video and at least introduce and kind of show off each new area as I go to it. And at least spend one video on there. And I haven't done tournaments yet. Like I said, I haven't done events or tournaments. So I'm sure whenever I get confident enough to sign up for one of those, um, it'll be something that I definitely record and put up on my channel so I guess I've got that to look forward to speaking of uh, whenever I was talking about this being available on the PlayStation 4 I don't know what happened um, I rearranged some things and my PlayStation might have been on whenever I unplugged it out of the wall. But whenever I started it back up, it acted like the hard drive just wasn't working. Um, I forget, it kept telling me that I uh, needed to have a version of an update and put it on a USB drive. It's been a while since it's happened. But I was working on uh, like Bloodborne and the Final Fantasy XII remake. And I got pretty damn far in both of those games, and I lost all of my data because I had to reinitiate the PlayStation 4. I tried everything else but that, and nothing else worked. So I did lose all of that, but um, I had just finished up the Final Fantasy X Remake Platinum like a week and a half prior to. So if I had lost all of that data, I would have been so shitty. Oh my gosh. But I haven't really done much on the PlayStation 4 because I've just lost motivation after I found out that I lost all of my data on it. 
We're not getting a fucking thing for bikes right now. And you know what? I forgot to realize the sound in this game. In the, the sound in this game is phenomenal. Got hung up again. But what I was going to say is, I don't remember if I'm recording with video or not. I mean, uh, sound. I don't know if the end game sound is recording. But anyway. We got four, four and a half pounds in our net. Seeing 350 bucks, not too bad. Once you fill it up though, like if I had 33 pounds, I would have had like the upwards of two grand. So you come here, spend 30, 45 minutes fishing, fill up your, well, maybe about an hour or so, fill it up um, and go back and it's just, it's cash because it costs nothing to get there. So it's all profit. But anyway, like I said, check it out. It's free if you guys like the outdoorsy slash sportsman kind of games like Cabela or, you know, any other fishing games. Um, definitely check this one out. It's free. It's fun. I enjoy it. Uh, I think it uh, deserves to get, you know, a little bit more recognition. I don't know how long it's been out, but, uh, you know, that's kind of the reason for putting it up on the channel. I'll people just kind of stumble, stumble across it and, you know, decide to check it out. But anyway, it feels good to be back on recording again. I will catch you guys next time. See ya.